What's going on guys? It's your boy James here at Beards and Cars back with another video. If you guys are new to the channel, thank you for subscribing. If you guys are just stopping in, consider hitting that subscribe button down below. Now, I've got a few things here guys I want to talk to you about and this is the thing that's helped me through just grooming my beard over the last so many years. <clears throat> I'm going to talk about from start to finish. So, when I first started out, there was two tools that I used that that's pretty much all I needed so and these tools aren't just something that I recommend these are tools that I will use forever until they break or whatever so the first one's going to be is a kink comb it's the first thing I bought was a kink comb this one you can't read it anymore but right over here in this corner it'll tell you the size it's this one's a 4t now this one's really worn out I've used this for so long this is one of the main things i needed in my beard journey a good comb those of you that know some of you don't do not go get a cheap black plastic comb that are mass produced those things are junk these are actually handmade which you can't comb uh the next thing now these were in my shorter beard stages guys when i was like you know somewhere between two months to four months three months two to three months something like that i used this skin comb and this little you can see this thing's tiny it's just a little uh boar's bristle brush this one here is uh soft on one side and it's hard on the other <clears throat> i would always brush my beard out with a comb first with my beard oil and things like that in there um and then after I was done, if I put bomb beer bomb in, what I would do is I'd go back with this boar's, uh, boar's bristle brush here and just kind of tighten up all the loose flyaways with the beer bomb and, you know, the brush. So these both I've had since the very beginning. As you can tell, this one's really worn out. It looks like a horseshoe almost. And then this one here, um, I don't use it as much anymore, but I still have it. You know, the, I'll get to that later, but this one here is a really good brush too. It's, it's a little small, but this is really all I need because I don't use it that much. So then as, as time progressed and that went on, I went ahead and got me a nice wooden comb here. So um, the reason I got a wooden comb, the main reason was the longer my beard got, I couldn't get back to the back, back here when I was combing through with the, with the Kent comb. Although every one of these work amazing so i'm gonna i'll put a link in the description down below for every one of these that i can um some of these like this i don't remember where i got it but it's an awesome comb if you see it grab it you'll love it i think i bought this on ebay but i can't remember but the wooden combs <clears throat> they glide through your beard a lot easier and not only do they glide through the beard a lot easier you can also you see the difference in the size there so these teeth on this one get way back in the back if you just stick it in there they'll get all the way to the back while you're combing the wooden combs lie through your beard a lot easier than most other combs so that was my next step was getting a good purchasing a good wooden comb as my beard reached its five six seven month mark i really needed a wooden comb to get back to the back and brush through this thing so started out with that one the boar's hair bristle brush and then end up with that wooden comb. And then now that my beard is this length, there's uh, there's two two of them that I use the most. Um, and I have one more, but let me get it because I'm actually missing that one. So, all right, guys, sorry about that. I forgot about this one. <clears throat> First thing in the morning with bed beard or after a shower. This is what I use right here is this, sorry, it's got hair all in it. <laughs> this is not my beard hair, this is my old lady's brush. So first thing in the morning, out of the shower, or um, yeah, first thing in the morning or out of the shower in the afternoon, this is what I use right here. Um, this is really good for not pulling all the hair out of your face. So if you guys, you know, comb your beard, then you know that any type of comb, especially first thing in the morning straight out of the shower, will pull the shit out of your hair. It'll snag and pull the hair. This is really good for not doing that. So this has been a lifesaver for me. It's really helped my beard out a lot. So this is a key tool that I would get if I was you and you pin on and you, you know, pretty much want to grow your beard this length. So 
And then from there, I upgraded my Kent comb. So Kent comb, like I said, is one of the best combs you can get, guys. It's just, it is what it is, man. That's a really nice comb. But so what I did was as my beard got longer, I went to a bigger Kent comb. You can see the sizes are a lot different. So, and the Kent comb has a small tooth on this side and a wide tooth on this side, they all do. This one here is a 9T. I don't know if you can see that right there. It's a 9T. This is a really good comb, really good size. So these combs glide through your beard pretty good. Um, I won't wake up in the morning and brush my beard straight out with this comb, but I can't go without this comb. I'll tell you why in a minute. The next comb that I have, and these are the three tools I use the most while my beard is at this length. The next one I got, and I still use this one, but I kind of replaced this one for this one. This is an ox horn comb. If you guys don't have an ox horn comb, you really need to get one of these. So what this comb does is the teeth are even longer on this one than this one I had here. This comb here, it really surprised me. This comb here, it glides through my beard better than every other comb does. I'm not sure if it goes through as easy as this, but it glides through just straight combing through. It doesn't really snag that much. It goes through really easy. It, it really surprised me because I wasn't expecting that out of the comb. I was still expecting it to snag, thing, you know, stuff like that. So this is a this is a must-have comb if you got a bigger beard, especially if it's coarse and curly. Must-have. Um, so now what I do is I, get, I pretty much get up in the morning. And these are, I'm telling you guys these things because this is what's helped me through this whole journey that I have. So now what I do is I get up in the morning. If I got bed buried, I use this. I brush through with this first thing. And then I hit the shower, whatever I'm going to do, uh, brush back through it again. Because my beard in the morning gets really, really, really bed buried and up, messed up pretty bad. So I use that. Whether I hit the shower or not, I'll come out. I still use that. And then I'll follow up with this one here, this ox horn comb, and I'll glide this through the beard as I'm blow drying the beard, you know? Um, I'll just kind of glide through it. And this one, this one doesn't make it real nice and straight. It's it's a lot harder to work with for uh, forming your beard, but I'll glide through this with the blow dryer and the uh, ox horn. So, and this does a really good job to follow up after this without snagging all the hairs out of your face, man. That's real important. You don't want to break a bunch of hairs in your face with some shitty comb. So get you one of these and uh, glide through your beard with this. So yeah, blow dryer and this ox horn. Glide through with that. Then, and, and all the time I'm telling you this, guys, it was pretty much shower, towel dry, beard oil, brush, comb, blow dryer. I may even put a little bit more beard oil on, comb some more, <clears throat> and then I may put a little bit of beard balm, but not much. I haven't been using it that much lately. And then I'll follow up with this Kim comb. So either this one or this one. It doesn't really matter. They're both, they both work the same. This one's just smaller. This one's bigger. But what I'll do is I'll take this and then I'll blow dry and comb slowly. Blow dry and comb slowly. Blow dry and comb slowly. So that heat. And the tension of this comb is what gets your beard nice and straight. So blow dry and comb slowly. Then if you're not quite where you want to be as far as straightening as you're blow drying with this comb in the thick side, flip it around and use that smaller side. And then same thing, the tension and the heat will help get you nice and straight. So blow dry and comb slowly. Then from there, usually my beard is pretty much on par to about this state of mine. Um, and then if I need to lock down any other little loose ends, flyaways, anything like that, that's when I'll come back out with this Moore's, Moore's hairbrush that I don't use very much anymore because my beard is a lot bigger. And this will help just kind of glide over top of those flyaways and help lock everything else right in place. And then what else I use this for still is my mustache. I don't grow very long anymore. I trim it just above my lip. But I'll take this. And it's perfect length. 
for that mustache. So that's it, guys. Like I said, if you guys are in the early stages, I suggest you getting your Boris hair bristle brush and some type of kink comb. I'll link these down below. And then if you're in them longer stages like I am now, <clears throat> these help me tremendously, guys. So this is the stuff that I use on a daily basis. This one I don't use that much anymore. I do use it, like I said. But on a daily basis, with this length beard, I use this brush, this ox horn comb, and this kink comb. Or this kink comb, either one. But it's pretty much a kink comb, ox horn brush, ostrich brush. That's it, guys. Grab you some of these if you don't have them. It'll really help your life out. You will not be pulling all them hairs out of your face. You will generally just be calming them or brushing them. Hope that helps somebody. See you guys in the next one.